We've talked about data encapsulation, packets, and frames. Now we're going to spend some time talking about TCP. If you recall, TCP is a connection-oriented protocol that uses a three-way handshake to establish a connection with a system port. TCP packets have flag indicators. Two of these indicators are SYN and ACK. SYN starts a connection between two systems. ACK acknowledges that a packet has been received. There are other flag options as well. Any of these indicators can be turned on or off using a packet crafter. The three-way handshake occurs when you're trying to use TCP to connect to a port. As indicated by the name, the handshake has three steps. Let's say, for example, computer one wants to connect with computer two. Computer one sends a SYN packet to computer two. Computer two receives the packet and sends a SYN ACK packet to computer one. Computer one receives the SYN ACK packet and replies back with an ACK packet, and the connection is complete. A full connect or a full open scan completes a full three-way handshake on all ports. Open ports respond with a SYN ACK and closed ports respond with an RST flag ending the attempt. This can be a good scan for IT administrator who's trying to see what ports are open or closed, but for hackers and other malicious intruders, the scan isn't very helpful, so it's not frequently used. Basically, you knocked on the door, they answered, and you introduced yourself. A stealth scan, also known as a half-open scan, sends a SYN packet to a port. The three-way handshake doesn't occur because the original system doesn't reply with the final ACK. At this point, you've discovered an open port. But because an ACK packet wasn't sent, a connection wasn't actually made and there is no security log. This scan is more appealing to hackers, so you as a cyber defense analyst need to be aware of it and safeguard against it. Xmas tree scan gets its name because of all the flags that are turned on and the packet is basically lit up like a Christmas tree. The recipient has no idea what to do with this packet, so it's either ignored or dropped. If you get an RST packet, you know the port is closed. If you don't get a response, the port may be open. The last port scan we'll talk about is the idle scan. This scan is a lot more complicated, but it's stealthy and effective. The hacker finds a target machine, but wants to avoid getting caught. So she finds another system to take the blame. This is frequently called a zombie machine because to the hacker, it's disposable and it creates a good distraction. The scan directs all requests through the zombie machine. If that zombie machine is flagged, the hacker can simply create another zombie machine and continue working. As a security analyst, you should know about this scan and safeguard your ports against any possible attacks. And that's it for this lesson. In this video, we talked about the TCP protocol. We talked about the three-way handshakes, TCP flags, and different scans you can conduct using those flags. We described the open scan, stealth scan, x mystery scan, and the idle scan. Now you've learned how flag manipulation can help you find open ports.